What's going on, everybody? Steve Pulaski back with another episode of Steve Pulaski Tries It, the show dedicated to the analysis and appreciation of the products we know, love, and consume. Here we go. What's going on, everybody? I have been getting a host of requests for this soda along with another one, uh, but this one is today's Tries It. The next one will be probably next week or so. I'll give this one a little bit of time to gain traction. This is Salted Caramel Pepsi. That's what we're trying today. Tis the season. Tis the holiday season. Tis the season for beverage corporations to throw out whatever they feel like and to experiment and to see what hits and what misses. I have no idea what to make of this soda to begin with. I have heard some intensely mixed uh, opinions on this soda. Some people say it is a good sipping soda as opposed to like a Coke or a Pepsi, you know, a conventional Coke or Pepsi original flavor where you can kind of drink it with a meal, have it with a snack. A lot of people say this is like one of those specialty sodas where you just kind of want to enjoy it on its own merits. Some people just downright hate it. The woman who sold it to me at Speedway gagged when I gave it to her because she said, that, or when I gave it to her, it rang up because she didn't like it at all. So this thing could not be more divisive. The other other uh, soda, in fact, is sounds a little bit more palatable. Uh, it's uh, Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. And I believe it's, it's actually called Holiday Brew, even though it is a non-alcoholic beverage. So it's interesting. Again, I'll talk about how... Um, you know, soda companies are starting to use terminology, uh, specifically Mountain Dew starting to use terminology related to the alcohol industry. I will talk more about that in the next Steve Plasky tries it though. But anyway, salted caramel Pepsi, what are we getting into here? Um, it's a limited time only beverage, so it's only going to, pr presumably going to be out for the end of the year, um, into the holiday season. And it's got 105 milligrams of sodium, 45 grams of total carbohydrates, 44 grams of sugar, and 170 calories. Not a health drink. That, that I can promise you. Uh, we will try this, though. I will try this, actually. Um, I have no idea what to make of this. Am I a big caramel fan? Not really. Um, caramel's fine, but I'd much rather, you know, I mean, there, there's some things I can do caramel, and if caramel is complimentary, like in candy, like it usually is, if caramel is complimentary to something like, like cookie or like chocolate, I can maybe do it, like Twix bars, I love Twix bars, but again, it's very mild caramel in there, and it's complimented by other ingredients and other different flavors, okay? So not the biggest fan of caramel, to be honest with you, so who knows how I'm going to respond to this, though. Again, salted caramel Pepsi, going to try and get that logo in there, though, because it is indeed a Pepsi product. It's very saccharine. If I, I'll be honest, though, the smell. Uh, if you if you didn't tell me this was caramel, I probably wouldn't have been able to guess it, because it's very cola smelling, and it's got like a sweet smell. You know what I mean? Like when you could smell something, you could tell it's got a little bit of artificial ingredients. It does have high fructose corn syrup. You know what I mean? So that's the kind of you know scent it's giving off. There's the color contrast, too. Uh, this camera doesn't pick up color contrast worth a damn, but it's a little bit, like, brownish. It's a little bit like a brown, sort of like a conventional cola. It looks a little bit thicker than, like, actual Pepsi. So cheers. Let's try this. I'm surprised. This is actually not bad. I can definitely agree that it is a sipping soda. This is a soda you're going to want to sip. This is a soda that you probably can enjoy on its own. I can't see this going well with a meal, so I would look for restaurants to have it, number one. But this is honestly pretty palatable. Um, I think it's going to be depending on your taste buds, though. Because, again, going back to, like, the woman at Speedway who sold it to me, who, like, gagged when she was giving it to me, I wonder if just, like... You know, it hits the palate differently. Because uh, I, I could tell maybe for some people this is a very strong caramel taste. It's a little bit odd. It's a little bit peculiar. But it's honestly a very interesting beverage. It does have, to me, it's not overwhelmingly caramel. At least not what I was expecting. It's almost got like a molasses quality to it. It's got a texture quality that's a little bit thicker than actual cola. The, the caramel taste is a little bit more artificial, but it carries a soft sweetness to it as well. So it comes off as very pleasant. It's honestly not a bad beverage. Um, definitely better than what it's alluding to, you know, just in this. And as far as salted goes, I mean, it says it's got 105 milligrams of sodium. I don't know. I'm a salt lover. It's only about 4% of your uh, daily value, but 
I love salt. I think my blood pressure is high, a little bit higher than it should be because I eat a ton of salt. I'm going to have a wonderful 40, 50 year old. Uh, I'm going to have like a wonderful 40s and 50s at this rate. But I love salt. I don't really get a lot of salt from this though. It doesn't really have that for me too. I mean, so again, it's probably better to be a sipping soda too to begin with because it's probably going to take away a little bit of the water that it's giving you to begin with. You know what I mean? In your bodies because there is a decent amount of salt in this. But it's honestly not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, it's palatable. Would I drink it again? Maybe. I'll tell you right now, after this, I'm probably not going to drink any more of it. I might tighten it, up, tighten it up a little bit better. Put it back in my fridge. Finish it off tonight. I bet you it mixes with booze pretty well. I bet you if you throw some rum in it or something like that. I bet you if you throw some cane rum. That's the one thing I will say. I bet you if you throw some cane sugar rum in this thing, you might get a mean hangover. But if you use it sparingly, I bet you it's a good beverage. I bet you it's a good mixer, as a lot of these sodas are proving to be. Out of four stars, I'm going to give this a two and a half out of four stars. I think it's good. It's definitely more successful and better of a formula than I thought it would be. You know what? I'm going to bump it up to three. Okay, official rating, three out of four stars. I think it's good. I think it's yeah, I think it's really good. It's palatable. It is definitely not offensive. It's definitely not one of those novelty sodas like you might be thinking. It is a good beverage. I recommend it. Three out of four stars for salted caramel Pepsi. Thank you all for watching, for subscribing. Check out Sleepless with Steve. My radio show uh, got highlights on YouTube. You can check those out right now. Just click on my YouTube channel. Highlights posted every week. And get ready for my Mountain Dew uh, holiday brew. Steve Plasky tries it coming next week. Thank you, guys.